Good morning, coach. Today I would like to talk about the health insurance portability and accountability, or we know as a HIPAA. HIPAA practically is a federal law that has some objective, but the principal objective is to protect the information about the patient. Of course, this includes the medical history, can include exams and surgery, because we know that some people don't like to share their information, and in this case, the doctor and the healthcare company has to respect their decision. The HIPAA was created in 1996, and this was with the objective to give all the right uh, to the patient to decide about their, about their information, uh, in simple words, uh, the patient can choose or can decide about the person who can read about their uh, personal information. They can be a third party or this can be a familiar or a doctor because they have all the control about their information. So HIPAA has three principal rules that can help to know more about this. Uh, this rule can be the privacy rule, the security rule, and the breach notification rule. These three rules are really important because in the case that a doctor broke one of these rules, this doctor can lose his job and also they can pay an amount of money, but it's not too easy because uh, this amount of money can be a million dollars and it's not too simple because as I say, they can lose their job. So practically this rule uh, help the patient to confirm that their information can be secure in the healthcare company and in this case the doctor has to follow all this rule in order to help the, the patient to know that their information is safe. Hello guys, good morning. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about privacy rules uh, and also there are uh, some important points. Uh, first. Uh, we have uh, which organization must follow uh, the IPAN standards. Uh, uh, we have uh, health plans, healthcare clearinghouse, and healthcare providers. Uh, these three organizations, uh, they need to follow the privacy rule because it's very important. Uh, we have uh, what is to protect health information. Well, in this case, any organization, uh, they must protect information in the past, in the present, and the future, uh, because it's important for the, the patient. Um, and all the information about any, info, any, sorry, about any patient. Thank Good morning, you. coach. Good morning, everyone. I will talk about the privacy rule. Well, the privacy rule standards address the use and disclosures of individual's health information. The privacy rule now is based on understanding and controlling how health information is used, and the main purpose of the privacy rule is to make sure that people's health information is properly protected while allowing the information necessary to give high quality health care and also the privacy rule allows important uses of information while protecting the privacy of people seeking medical care. Well, thank you for watch. I understood that this ferment is electronic and the security rule protects them. In this way, every organization must follow the established rule that all health information will be protected by the rule on the all safeguards to abide by this rule. So, in this way, must protect the PHI from any treat that may face and educate employees so they can complete with each of the security rules and adapt to PH police. The cover and tire are also required to management reach analysis in order to create a reach management plan. But this plan can follow the next step. First, identify the possible reach that the patient health information have. Second, create a management plan. After that, put in place of um, administrative, physical, and technical safe word. After that, um, manage or conduct the IPA training in order that work that can follow uh, 
policies and procedures. Then uh, document all the rich analysis process and last but not least uh, conduct the, this process yearly in order to identify possible risks and reduce them. Well, following a breach um, of unsecured protected information, covered entities are required to alert. First, affected, affected individuals, they must communicate it with the person who is involved. With the people who, with the people who are affected. Besides that, they need to notify health and human service to let them know what is the problem. And finally, uh, media if necessary. This business, the business associated uh, with with this, need to alert the cover their covered entity as well. If the bridge affects affect more than 500 people, they must notify through their websites. Well, I'm going to talk about the breach notification rules. And um, this rule is used when there is a breach of protect health information. That means is when there is an unauthorized use of this information. And um, Breach notification rules is part of the HIPAA, HIPAA laws, and that required um, that these organizations to notify all affect individuals about data data breach. And these organizations sh um, should notify it, um, within six days um, of discovering the breach. So. Uh, the breach notification rule is 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 a bad use of the health information.